Hey everybody, welcome and, and today, for those of you who don't, or who, who haven't seen the, the last stream that I was doing, um, I went in and was playing a, a deck that I was trying and testing the thoughts of. I know someone, I've seen that someone done it before, someone has definitely done it before. More of a the poison ultra beasts, um, and I was just oh I wanted to give it a go and give my take on it, and so I'm just, I've just got one room match for my dailies, so I wanted to get in and do that, and then and then I was gonna jump in and do what I was talking about. So at the moment, you guys know that I pulled my. Nagandadul and a Boipo. Um, but what I wanted to try to do mm -hmm. um, I just wanted to get into a quick green room match while I was while I was while I was getting you guys up to speed. Well while we're talking about what we're gonna be doing in the video. So I'm just gonna go shut this down here. Maybe we should have expeded. Hmm, maybe. Um, so I wanted to give a go to give a go to I've got to get my I'm tired. I woke up early to travel back this morning. Um, um so I wanted to this guy does have an invisibility camp. So I'm just going to go straight into this and just attack. Just in case we hit white on white. And if he hits his purple on my white. I was going to be in trouble because then he'll be hitting like what 200. Um, so see which one he wants to invisibility cape. I'd say probably if I was him I'd do like Dregalgi. Um. But it'll depend on how he feels. Invisibility cape, there we go. Ooh. Okay, does he he's got no hurdle jump. So all I'm going to do is drop my Gengar in front. And now I've just got him sandwiched in. Double chance at a max revive is all he's got. So, this guy's nuts. This guy's nuts. He's either going for, uh, he's going for uh, guillotine, guillotine Evo, or he would have had it too if, if I hit white. Okay. Good play for that person, I must say. I'm just going to go rush on up now with the old uh, Nagandal and just see what we can do. I made double chance on his goal next. Oof. There we go. So, there is my quick little rematch. So, now let's get into the good stuff. Let's get into what we are all here for. Um, which is the, the poison ultra beasts. The toxic ultra beasts, as I like to call it. Um... Although none of them really inflict toxic, but there we go. So this is the deck. So one jelly, one silly, um, and then purple and purple and the gandal. Um, and then I've got just a Gengar in there. I was considering running two Gengars. Maybe I could swap Delphox out for another Gengar, or um, my other thought was is do a Venusaur. And but uh, two one MP figures. Mm. Now, the question is, is going to be maintenance soon. Do I want to pop this, or do I want to wait until after? I think I've, after doing that, I think I probably need to wait until after maintenance. So, let's go get into a duel. And let's give uh, these toxic ultra beasts a whirl. And see mm -hmm. how see how they do. Oh, God. Sorry. Hopefully none of you guys are yawning now. 
I had to get up at I think just before five this morning. Mm. That's that's early for me. That's very early for me. Do any of you guys normally wake up early? Are you guys are any of you early risers either for work or for whatever you've got? Whatever you do. Any of you guys get up super early in the morning? Let me know. Love to hear from you guys. Love to get to know you guys a little bit more. Like you guys kind of get to know me a little bit through the videos and through just things I talk about. But so it's pretty cool just getting to know a few of you guys who who spend your time to watch the vids. And so just cancelling here so we don't get a bot. And try again one more time. Surely there'll be some other people pushing for end of month. I'm not, obviously. But what I want to know as well, do you guys think after this maintenance, ah, all these boxes, um, do you guys think after the maintenance, is there going to be another a new banner, the last one? Do you guys think the boosters and boxes will still be available? Because um, there's talk that they're not going to be gone until the proper um until the proper Z moves update the big one although we will be getting a tests of Z moves after the maintenance so I, th I think it was just very unclear that's why a lot of a lot of if not all the youtubers spent their gems um but ooh, okay mega blastoise any mega blastoise deck can potentially be trouble um, although I do have a decent amount of purple and blue in this deck, so that's one good thing. Um, I do not have the, I do not have the extra three MP mons though in here. So depending who he sent up against me, probably Gengar, probably Gengar indeed. So I'm just gonna go move my jelly up. Put jelly there, get something else out, and then hmm, which one shall we do? I'm just gonna go like this, and then when he moves, I'm just gonna go threaten enough that he has to respect. So if he doesn't respect just here, I'll do have a long throw for this around if he tries to mega. Here we go, okay. He respects, that's that's nice of him. Nice of him to respect me. And then we are going to Now this is this is a quite a good position for me to be in at the moment. Is if he moves down, perfect. All I need to do is poison this. Um poison Zoro, great, poison Lunala, even better. So looking for my purple, beautiful. And he doesn't allow me to move, but at least he's poisoned. So that is a great, that is very good. So what will my opponent want to do now? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I can, I can agree with that. Now I don't have to worry too much about, um, about Lunala. I can just let it come in if it wants to, and then I want to move my Gengar over, look to step over him when I want to, when I want to get it free. And then I can get my silly out. So I don't want to attack and potentially get moonbeamed, although he's got a he hasn't extended that at all. He's got fully white, which is which is a nice thing, especially when they're statist. So I'm just gonna get out this and then I wanna go up and attack Gengar. That's what I want to look to do, and then, and then I can move silly up after this. So looking for my purple or blue is what I do want to see. Purple or blue, beautiful, beautiful, and then I'll get silly out, and then we'll start really maneuvering around. Well, I'm just going to carry on just moving and tapping everything, getting everything poisoned. He does have the Megas. Perfect. 
so he can always mega and get out of this position but at least I have I've stopped a whole lot of his other shenanigans and that's a bonus mega blastoise there we go he's going for it which is actually a good thing so because at least he's only get poisoned here oh. Oh, so close. What? Is he is he not poisoned? How come he's not poisoned? Let's have a quick he did it did it did it. I should be poisoning. Something strange is going on. Um so what I am gonna do, I'm just gonna come across here looking for damage on damage with this attack. Um, or just to get rid of my shadow. Beautiful. Beautiful. And then, now, I'm, I'm feeling much more comfortable. I can move around the board. He's going to max revive. I thought he was going to do. Okay. That's fine. More blue, more purple. I'm happy with that. Not, not so. Not, not exactly what I wanted. Wrong this. No. That's fine, no. That is fine. So I'm just going to go move up with Silly. And if he wants to attack that, he can. Why did it, what, see, he got poison, he got poison this time, but he didn't the last time. There must have been some kind of crazy glitch the last time. For him not to get poisoned. That's strange. Mm-hmm. Okay. Interesting. Interesting plays by my opponent. And next turn I am just going to go push on up. And who is he going to try and knock out? Yeah, good call. This is the biggest white that I have. Ooh, one third chance not to roll white. So it is definitely the biggest chance that I have. Oh, two flies. That feels bad for my opponent. I am just going to go throw myself up here. And now, he's only got one more turn, one max revive. If I get a blue and he doesn't, or, oh, I was going to say, if I hit my anything but my white on his, on his white, that would have been nasty. Alright, let's start moving everything up now. Um, now, he does have Mega Gengar, so I wanted to move on up there. But, because I pushed my Poi Pot up there last turn... Now I can't. So, because he does have Mega Gengar. So, there we go. He's using it now. Attack Dal Fox. Or attack Gengar and let me roll purple. Hmm? No? Yes? No? What is he going to do? Is he just going to sit there? Dal Fox, come on. Hit your purple, Dal Fox. Purple. I don't mind that. I can, I can live with that. I can live with that indeed. I'm just going to attack here. Looking for my blue or my purple. Beautiful. And then. And then. Once. Okay he's just going for the goodies. He's just going for the goodies. Gold into his purple. Oh, so close. So close. So. I am going to. Mm, what am I going to do? I'll just go jump on over here for now. Just to see. I, I won't be able to jump onto the goal, but there we go. Just to discourage him from attacking into, I wouldn't mind rolling a miss, I must say. I would not mind rolling a miss at all. Um, what do I want to do? Where do I want to go? I am going to activate this. And I am going to, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. He's going to max revive and surround me now. Which is okay. Because I have not used... Oh, he should have max revived and surrounded me. I was going to say, which is okay because I haven't used any plates and I'll get Nagandit all back. Um, have I used any plates? No. So, I was going to be happy with that. I am just going to go move up here though. And just threaten his Lunala. Make him want to move. Because 
mm, I don't, I don't mind, but I don't really want him to, I'm just going to attack here, looking for my purple, weight is what I'm wanting, ah, oh, not quite, not quite, um, but he may, no, he doesn't want to, okay, so I'm just going to go move on out now, and now just removed all his plates, not that it mattered at all, at all, because mm -hmm. it only really matters if they've got max revives, or if I, I'm um, sorry, recycles, or if I have them, so, okay, okay, interesting plays, interesting plays indeed, now I'm just going to go move over here, and then I'm going to move over his Blastoise next turn. So he can easily move over my Delphox whenever he wants. And then I just want to make sure I... I'm just going to go chase him down, really. Um, just going to keep chasing after him until... Mm. Okay, I'm going to go backwards just so I can Mega and then hold that Gengar down if I need to. If that Gengar what looks to cause a trouble for me. Okay, and that's going to be fine. I'm going to poison him again. Beautiful. Um, what chains has he got? 103, I'm 103. Okay. So, do I have... I'm forgetting the plates that I'm running. That's my main problem. Is I'm forgetting what plates I'm running and what decks. Since I've been running a whole lot of new decks recently. But, so... The difference in the way that I, well, I think I run this is that a lot of people, okay, there we go, so he just went to KO my Foxy Fox, and I'm just going to do the same for his Lunala, so he either moves his Lunala or he's going to get it knocked out if he takes my other entry, so either way I'm going to have an entry free. And with that, I'm going to go get this out. I should probably have gone after... Yeah, I should probably have gone after Lunala, I must say, with Celestelia. Is what I should have done. Hmm. I'm just going to go up and attack this. Let's see what he wants to do. I wouldn't mind... Oh, blue... Blue, my blue on anything of his, or, or, I was going to call for my purple on his white, but I'll take a just straight knockout, I'll take a straight knockout, we'll see what he, my opponent wants to do, okay, I just want to make sure I'm keeping on threatening things, um, I do want to get a max of vibe out, just so I get my poi pole, So I'm going to go send it up this way. Just because I'm not as afraid of Lunala. Um, okay. Okay. Interesting. Interesting there. I'm just going to slowly move forward with this. And then what, what, I, what I wanted to get Poipol up for is because... Like one thing I never see people doing is using... What I call using Celestelia wisely. Not going for the blues, but going for the purples. Hardly anyone uses Celestelia for the flame gun. But I can't exactly say no to a blue. Um, I, I did want to get a purple right there, but... Mmm. Mmm. What do you do when a blue comes up? Like, if I got a purple right there, I would have knocked out his, his, um, okay. Okay. I see ya. Oh, perfect. And now, which is going to come back? Silly. Okay. Oh, and because, because as Ludala, I don't move to the ultra space and I still get one back. Oh, man. That must be like stuff of nightmares for my opponent. Be like, no! Uh, and that's where, like, Ultra Beasts are still so good. Ultra Beasts are, like, still OP.
um, just their blues. Like that's all gonna change after the Z moves update. So I definitely wanted to give this a go before the old Z moves came out because as soon as those come out, there nearly every deck is gonna have a blue killer. Um, use any water, grass, or fire types, and I think that's the way it sounds like it's gonna go. And if you are, then it's just like well, rip. Um, which is nuts. So, I believe he's only got a max revive now. So, I don't want to finger off the trigger at all for my opponent. Um, so, I'm just going to make sure I, I hold his entries down. And then... Ooh, maybe not. Alright, so let's get silly up there again now. So I have used a double chance and a max revive, which are all going to get wasted soon. So I want to get Delphox up, they're pressuring, and then I want to get my Celestelia up, and look for a purple, is what I want. We'll see if we can do that or not though. I do have a Mega Gengar still. So I'm just going to go back off with my Gengar. Make sure I can Mega Gengar and protect gold if I need. Max Revive. Okay. Okay, I respect it. Purple. No. Although, I will definitely try this. Going for blue or purple for me. Blue or purple. Oh. Ouch. Now, is he going to surround me, is the question. Does he want the surround, or does he not want the surround? I can't imagine he's just going to hop over me. But he does. So, now I'm just going to attack here, get him poisoned. Oh, the mess. That, that man, this Lunala is having like, oh, the worst day. Um, I'd rather be poisoned with that Celestelia as well. So that's a bonus. Um, Lucario Knight that he cannot use. So I'm just going to continue to push on up with Celestelia. Um, and, ooh, interesting. Interesting. I'm just going to attack here. Looking for, not that. I want to get my Poi Pole back, so I want to maybe attack with Dow Fox into Shadow. I think I'll do that. Purple Dow Fox almost. Purple almost Dow Fox. Thank you. Thank you, Dow Fox, for me being able to trust you. Um, let's attack this. I'm just looking for a knockout here. Oof. Oof. Close. Close, but not quite what I was wanting. Um, okay. I'm just going to keep hammering away until... There we go, that's alright. I'm just going to go put him in awkward positions where he's going to have to manoeuvre himself around. I don't mind, I really like the Delphox Blastoise matchup. Have I? Oh, I've just killed all my plates, haven't I? So even if I do get a, even if I do get a miss, um, there's no real winnings to it. So there's just that a little bit of pressure on my opponent. Hmm. And then I want to start moving up on my opponent since it's since it's a. Ooh, thank you. Thank you very much. So now, what we are going to do is start looking looking for the goal opportunities. So I want to try and get all my mods up around here. Um, Dow Fox to displace and then Poi Pole to take the wins. Um, ooh. Ooh. Ouch. Ouch, yeah. So, this isn't going to actually be very nice. Um, 
now I am in a very, very dangerous spot because his white, white on white is going to be very good for my opponent and not very good for me. So I've got to make, he's going to, against my goal, I've got to make sure I've got that same pressure on his. Okay. Ooh. I want to go up here. And then I want to go here. Looking, if I hit purple on white, it's over. Whew. Goodbye, Gengar. Goodbye, Gengar. Well, it may not be over. He can still attack me and potentially win against me. Um, gold versus purple, or one of my big misses, or even his white versus my seven, my eighty. Dal Fox. Dal Fox. There we go. Dal Fox, baby. So, there we have it. That is the Poison Ultra Beast. A little bit more of a, not so much like the Farmosa 4MP, I'm going to go up and call signal your goal. A whole lot less of that kind of stuff, because I'm not so interested in that. Although, if I did have a Farmosa, it would be foolish of me not to use it. But, it's fun. I find this deck kind of fun, and it's a very risky deck as well. So, at the moment, it's working pretty good. If I had another jellyfish, maybe I'd add another jellyfish, but that the jellyfish running that without a farmosa, without a guaranteed way to get your got many people, your mons are back from ultra space, so dangerous. And then if you use your jellyfish goes off, and then your Celestelia goes off, and then your Poipole goes off and brings like jelly back, and then jelly just gets knocked out. You like rip three mons. Um, that's one thing. That is one good side to the, like the how OP the Ultra Beats are, and it's just a bit of a shame that they made it so easy with Farmosa with its four MP abilities that it gets four MP easy to run down and get a call signal. It's it's just a little bit of a shame. Um, if they stayed like the Jellyfish, which had a super super good, super super big blues. But super super, if they get knocked out, it can potentially be game over. Hmm. What do you guys think? Is this any better than running like the normal Ultra Beast, or am I just as bad? I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and how I played this, what the deck looks like, and mm, should I add a little bit more poisonous? Should I? Oh, should do you guys want to see me toying with it, like using a Venusaur in place of a Delphox, or using more Gengars, or some other some other things? Uh, let me know. I'd love to hear from you guys. Um, hopefully, can't wait to see what happens after maintenance, and hopefully we get three EXs that we get to pull out of this. So look forward to all those things, guys, and. We'll see you guys after sometime, maybe tomorrow this time, or maybe after maintenance. We'll, we'll just have to wait and see. So, depends on what kind of update it is. Exciting. Exciting times, and we'll see you soon, guys.